Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes for all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today, we are doing a general guidance message for the sign of Aquarius. Now, if you find the messages helpful or resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here and see what we can see for Aquarius. Most important message here for Aquarius spirit. What do my Aquarian friends need to know? Please and thank you. Seeing something clearly here. See how this is playing out in the reading. The energy surrounding you, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. So you're hip to someone's game. Somebody is trying to be deceptive here and you kind of see right through their BS. I feel like this person is trying to cause a rift between you and your significant other. Or a person who you feel a very deep connection with. This could be a significant other. This could also be a friendship or a family member. Uh, so take it as it resonates. But I definitely feel like this person has ill intention with the Seven of Swords. Okay, but you are on to them. Aquarius, you see right through their BS. I definitely feel here. You're taking a pause. You're trying to be strategic with how you deal with this person. So something's keeping this person in your life for some reason or another. Maybe this is a family member that's trying to cause this rift. So let's clarify. Clarify. We're going to start here with the Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So it could be about your significant other or maybe this is your significant other however this is resonating for you Aquarius you see right into their BS maybe that's why you're like a rock in a hard spot because of this soul tie connection but understand guys you can denounce it's like you can denounce that connection you don't have to accept that path and also understand that part of that journey is in separation that's why I always recommend especially if you think you're dealing with the twin flame energy to educate yourself on the twin flame journey so that way you have an understanding of what you can expect when you're in the relationship with this person some of you this person has been one foot in one foot out Maybe going back and forth with another person. This has come up in your readings before. Okay. I feel like you're trying to figure this out, but this person isn't making this easy. You're going to have to do what's best for you, Aquarius. So if you live with this person, maybe it's time to take a little vacation by yourself and, and get clear on what you want the outcome to be. What the next move is going to be. Take a pause. Don't rush into the outcome, okay? Don't rush into anything. But I do feel here, Aquarius, that there is going to be a difficult decision that you may have to make. And that may be putting some distance between you and this person until they figure their BS out. So... pull out a few cards for your spiritual advice thank you guys again for all the love and support <laughs> decisions decisions I feel like this isn't the first time this has happened but it's like you're running out of fucks to give is what I'm hearing excuse my language you're running out of fucks to give you're it's like you're you've had it up to here you know over your head it's, it's an, enough for you to handle and you're like 
this is never going to change, so I'm going to move forward. Sometimes that will be the catalyst for the person to change, but don't hold your breath. You need to do what's best for you and your energy. So if that means taking space, recalibrating yourself, focusing on work for a little bit, not so much on relationships. For a lot of you, this is a soul tie, twin flame connection, so it's not a connection that you're easily going to be able to get rid of. But I also feel here, Aquarius, you have a choice. Free will is real. So you have a choice whether you accept this connection into your life and this path or you choose another path. You still have free will. You still have a choice. That's where free will comes in. Am I consistently showing up? Some trade their dreams for comfort, yet comfort is the enemy of progress. Success requires showing up every single day, even when you don't feel like it, and even when it feels uncomfortable. It takes guts and an endless vision to stay consistent to your dream. Today's Soul Action Journal, where you can be more consistent in your life in alignment with your soulful goals, then show up. Definitely feel here. You will be withdrawing from the situation for a little bit to figure this out. I do feel like that's inevitable. Some of you will decide to work this out and make this work. Some of you will go. It's going to depend on like, how many chances you've already given this person, how long you've been intertwined in this connection. All of those things are going to differ differentiate the outcome. But I do feel here there is a need to trust your intuition, Aquarius, through this process. And I also feel this person is being deceptive. It's okay to tell them that you're hip to their game. It's okay to point out where their story doesn't add up. Sometimes that's exactly what people need in order to see the air in their ways. And sometimes it isn't. But how will you know if you don't try? So. Most important message here for Libra spirit. What do my Libra and friends need to know? I feel like that's a yes already before I even ask the question. That's a yes. Aquarius. That is for Aquarius. So Aquarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For information on the rituals that we do here on the channel. For ritual kits. For personal readings. And the drawing that we're going to do at 20,000 subscribers. Please check below in the description box. And if you found the messages helpful or resonating for you in your situation, give it a thumbs up or comment below how it helped. You never know how your story could help another person. Thank you guys again, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.